he has a, 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 a stable income. We started with a deep income system. There was a time we have a crisis. It was very rough because we don't have all the whole money, like everything we needed to start with. And every one of us, we were all arrested by the Amotekuns. I have passion for poultry farming, but it was just a passion. While I was in school, I tried to do something while I was in the university, but I don't have any knowledge about it. So I just collaborated with one of my friends. I said, okay, let's start something. So we went out to go and get some bed, broiler bed, but we don't know anything about it. Our housing structure and everything was wrong. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we raised them even more than the time they are supposed to be raised. And at the end of the day, we end up losing our money. I enjoyed the process. It was not really palatable. So that was where it started from. Later, I abandoned it because I was not yet through with my education. Let me look for a farmer that is into this thing and let the farmer teach me. And I opt in for it sincerely. I was not collecting a dime because I was the one that went to the farmer. I went through the sacrifice for eight months thereabouts before there was an opening in a big farm for a farm accountant. Bam, I was very happy. I said, ah, this is the opportunity I've been looking for. Because this time around, I'll be paid and I'll still learn. The place was kind of part of my, my place, but that one has nothing now. I just say, okay, let me just, let me go for this thing. I was happy doing what I was doing until the very big day happened. And <laughs> it was a very sad story because I have passion for poultry farming and I was enjoying, I enjoyed doing what I was doing. So when some issue happened on the farm and every one of us, we were all arrested by the Amotekos. We were like, we were built actually. But the result of that thing that happened is that some of us be laid off and I was the, the first person to be laid off. And that time I was preparing for my wedding. One month to my wedding, let me just say one month to my wedding ceremony. And it was, ah, God, I don't want to remember, but I know that it was not a palatable one because I was happy I'm getting married and I'm not happy that I'm jobless. Remember I said it was my passion, but I picked up my PCs. Come and see me dancing the on the wedding day, knowing that I'm not employed. Like I've been sad. Those time of the honeymoon, I was using it to do some brainstorming, some thinking on how I can get started. But I am a Christian and um, the Holy Spirit is in me. So he always told me that I should start my own. I've been a farm accountant, so I know how it is being done. So when I heard the voice, I was like, no, no, this cannot be talking to me. Me, I don't have work. Where would I start from? But I keep hearing the voice and I was, I was just so motivated. Remember, it's my passion. You know, you can do anything for your passion, actually. So I just said, well, I just told my husband when he came from work that this is what I've been feeling more. And coupled with the fact that he is a veterinary doctor, he's also in the system. So he knows what it takes to become a, a poultry farmer. So we just said, let's see what we do. And because our art was in need, thank God I have some savings. And coupled with my husband that also has some savings, he has a, a stable income. That was how we could put resources together and and get started. And today the story has not been the same thing. We started with a deep eater system. Farmers we understand what I'm saying. Deep eater system is when you are raising your bed on the floor because the money for cage is expensive as a new beginner. But today, I can, you can see today, we, we already have a, a, a battery cage here. I learned that poultry farming is different from poultry business. Some farmers are just farmers, but they don't know the business aspect of it. So I was able to learn the business aspect of it, the inventory, the stock taking, the record keeping, the operational system, the management system. There are so many things that you can pass poultry farming rather than just coming to feed your bed and just going and selling eggs. A system of tracking what is in the farm. I mean the beds, I mean the feed that is coming in. How can you track the feed that is coming in to make sure that your attendance uh, does not steal. I, being a fan of accountants, I was held responsible because I said uh, I was told that I was the one that's supposed to make sure those things did not happen. Do you understand me? So even though it was not a good experience, but I still learned a lot that poultry business is different from poultry farming. You now I'm also running an online consultation, a one-on-one -on -one consultation to train poultry farm. The number one challenge I faced was getting a space like a pen. I started with a little bit of capital, not much capital to feed them. I needed a, a farm location. My husband is a medical practitioner, a veterinary doctor. So he was able to reach out to some of his clients, people he consults for, the farms he consults for, and they were able to give us some 
a, a little bit space in their farm. I'm telling you, we started at the backyard at the farm. It was very rough at the beginning. It was very rough because we don't have all the old money, like everything we needed to start with. I was dedicated and commit, committed that no, this thing must be a success. And I put my whole heart in it because here we were able to see a secure land to start was very far from my from my place. So I had to go there every day. I had to be there in the morning. Sometimes I would come back very late in the night, trap traffic. A lot of things happened on the road. Why going? But I did not look at those things. Remember, I've not started seeing profit. I just started. Okay? At least before you can see profit as a newbie farmer, you have to do it for at least six months consistently. Morning and evening, you have to be there on the farm. There was a time we had an outbreak on the farm. That means our beds started dying. Before we can stop it, we lost some beds. But I was not discouraged. I used to tell myself, if all this bed that I receive a die finish, I will raise another one. I go for knowledge. Any class to learn, you will always see me there. And when I learn, I also try to document my process. Then after that, I pick up my phone and start recording, documenting my process. I love teaching. I have been a teacher for years. So when I pick up the phone and start recording how what is happening, even if the team come down, or even if you have challenges on farm, and the kind of farmer that will tell you what I'm going through on the farm, I will not only tell you what is good. There was a time we have a crisis. I, I recorded it that our beds are laying, eggs that is not good. Do you understand this? So when I tell people about my progress, and when I see plenty eggs, plenty eggs used to excite me. So as a farmer, we are solving the market problem of um, food. We all need food every day. I also want to reduce the unemployment in our nation because while we build, we employ people to, to build with us and then we pay them and they take they take care of their family with that money. So I just inculcate my passion to that because I've always wanted to be an employer of labor. Many of my mentees, people I train online, they are men. But I keep coming out on my video and say, women, if you want to do this, this I have a particular video that I talk about. Poultry farming is not even a men's work, it's a woman's work. Because these birds are livestock. They have life in them. When I'm in my class, I try to explain as a mother, like a nursing mother. When you have a baby, the way you care and nurture for your baby, that is the way nurture for it. When there is a female attendant, what a female attendant will see, a man will not see it on the farm. Yes, we have that intuition and that power. But because of the death, because of the poopoo, women refuse to, they don't want to go into it. They say it's a dirty job. This thing is this women that really need to do this. They will take care of this bed like children. I'm telling you, there's no better time. Now is the time. That your savings, that savings that you are saving and you think maybe later, you continue to depreciate. Because there's something about uh, when you are doing a business, you just be thinking of business. When I sleep, I think business. When I wake up, I think business. So that's just my advice to every woman that wants that. They just have to whatever they have. One thing I strongly believe is that, is that anything you want to do, even if it's not poultry farming. So far, we have it in our mind and we take the first step. All the resources we meet us on the way. And that's the wrap, folks. From cracking eggs to cracking stereotypes, Mrs. Blessing of God is proof that passion can turn any foul situation into a feather roughness success. Who knew farming could be so exciting? Thanks for coming in. And remember, whether it's a farm or any other dream, don't kin out. Until the next time, keep hustling and keep clocking. Bye.